Right, here is the rickety bridge that we're going to have to go across. Um, there isn't really any other crossing points that are much nicer. So, yeah, this is going to be a little bit interesting. Let me just zoom out of it so I can actually see what we're doing there. Now, the bridges can't collapse, is what I've discovered, but you can still fall off them. So, you can see that the tyres on this truck are pretty wide. So I'm just going to go nice and slowly, there we go, we are mostly across, there we go, it's kind of like one of those top gear episodes when they have to cross one of those really high bridges or something. Everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 41975 and today we are continuing our SnowRunner Let's Play series by checking out one of the new maps that we haven't actually got into yet, which is the Greenwoods River map. So a couple of weeks ago we did a live stream where we went and checked out the uh, Black Badger Lake map, which was absolutely awesome, and we took out one of the modded cars, the stadium truck which was really, really cool. So today, I want to kind of continue that by going and exploring the Greenwood Rivers map and taking another modded truck to go and explore that. Also, some of you might have noticed the merch. There is a link in the description below if you want to get your own. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab the truck that we're going to be driving today. And here it is. It is a modded truck and I am on console so if you're trying to find this truck then you should be able to find it if you are on console. I'm sure it's available on PC as well. And it's this, the DCB US R900 Big Bob. And it is a pretty cool vehicle. It's kind of a small heavy truck is how I'd describe this. So you can see it's not a scout vehicle but it's also not one of the biggest trucks we have in this game. But it has some really cool customization. I think this thing is going to be very powerful and it's going to be perfect for exploring the Greenwood Rivers map. So let's go ahead and uh, actually customize the thing because we've got a little bit of stuff that we can do in here. I've not got a whole lot of money so probably not going to be spending too much on it. But we can go ahead and put in the um, 8.3 litre turbocharged engine but we have a 14 litre stock engine in so I'm going to leave that in the truck I think that's much much better the gearbox we've got the high range gearbox or the 5 speed off road automatic we're going off road so we'll leave the off road gearbox in there suspension we've got the heavy duty suspension we can go for stock suspension or we can go for a lift kit I'm happy with the heavy duty, I think that's pretty good. It's got a good amount of ground clearance underneath it, the ride height is just right, and the heavy duty I think is going to be necessary, because it looks like quite a heavy truck to be honest. Then the tyres, so we've got a few tyre options in here actually. We've got all terrain tyres, so we've got these super single tyres, they look very bold. We've got these good winter tyres. So we've got on-road excellent, off-road excellent, and mud is excellent, okay. We've got the 61 inch super singles and the 53 inch good winter tyres, okay. Then the off-road tyres, we've got the 54 inch Dakar singles. On-road is good, off-road excellent, and mud excellent. We're probably not going to be that much on the road, so not too fussed about that. Then we've got the wide off-road tyres. They don't really look much wider than these, but okay. Then we've got the military tyres, which is what it comes with as standard. And they're 54 inch. We can go for the 59 inch military tyres. That looks much better. I like the big tyres. Looks great. Then we've got the 59 inch Dakar singles and the 61 inch off-road tyres. And then we have got some chained options in here. So we've got the studded super singles, so you can actually see they've got the little studs in there. That's for kind of like driving on ice and things. And then we've got the 61 inch super singles studded. 
so they're just a little bit bigger i think we're going to go with the 59 inch military tires i want some nice big tires on this then the winch we've got the stock medium we've got the extended medium which has extended length i think we're going to go with the advanced medium because i like the extended rope length i think that is quite useful because often there's a point just out of reach that you can't quite get the spare wheel we can put a spare wheel on this thing so i think we'll do that just in case we need it diff lock we can get engageable diff lock so we'll go ahead and put that on there the snorkel okay so we've got a tall front facing snorkel we've got the tall flat cap We've got the stock one there, and then we've got the default. I like the default. The default sort of blends in with the paint job, so I'm going to leave that on there. And then frame add-ons, we've got the cargo attachment, which we can't have with the spare tyre. Or we've got the utility attachment, which we can have with the spare tyre. And I was going to go for this anyway, because it adds a bit more fuel, adds a few spare parts in there, and also a spare wheel and it looks great so gonna go for that and then we have got a few visual things so exhaust options can't change the exhaust so we can just have this nice standard one looks fine i like that the bumper options we've got the light bumper which has this sort of weird little vanity plate thing down there looks quite nice though and then we've got the heavy bumper that's kind of more of a utilitarian military feel with it I like the light bumper a little bit more and then we've got rim options but we can't change those so i like how they look anyway and then in the paint options we've got a few options in here not the usual colors that we can go and apply but we have got a few different paint jobs so we've got the standard camo livery we can go for this half sort of two-tone look with the black and the sort of green it's kind of like military green we've got the desert kind of color and then we have also got just the plain green i really like the camo i think it just suits this vehicle perfectly so i'm going to leave that on there and i don't believe there is any interior or exterior customization so there we go that is the big bob fully customized so let's take it outside now and uh travel to the Greenwoods lake ma Greenwoods river sorry right so here we are outside well we are outside but i'm just taking a quick look at the map before we actually set off on our journey so in my live stream the other day we checked out the black badger lake map which is where we are currently because we haven't unlocked the garage in Greenwoods river i don't know if there is a garage there possibly there is possibly there isn't but we went and uncloaked all of the watchtowers on this map so today we're going to travel to Greenwoods River and uncloak all the watch points there. So we're up here at the garage, kind of at the north part of the map. There is actually two um, gateways that you can travel through. So one of them is here, which is at the very south of the map, which is where we travel to in the live stream. We did briefly uh, travel to the new map. And then we have another one which is just over here to the bottom left of the map. So I'm not really sure which one we want to go through. I think they're both unlocked. So I think we're going to go for this one here. Because um, we didn't really get much of a chance to explore this right hand side of the map. And that's what I want to kind of do today. Alright, here we go in the big bob. This thing is quite big in fact. Um, it looks absolutely awesome though. I really like this thing. These kind of like smaller military trucks are what I really like. I say small, but it is absolutely massive. It's got like, I think it was 61 inch tires on here. So it is quite big, but hopefully that means it's going to be more than capable of what we want to do with it today. I don't think it's the fastest truck in the world either, but as long as it can get us where we need to go i'm not really too fussed about the speed we've got all-wheel drive switchable all-wheel drive and diff lock in this thing i'm actually going to put all-wheel drive on right now we've got 350 liters of fuel 
so we've got quite a lot of fuel but I think this thing might be quite thirsty but we do have a little bit of spare in the back there so that is pretty useful but I just can't get over how good this thing looks it looks absolutely awesome all right so I've made some good progress we've traveled all the way well nearly all the way to the gateway um, we've been traveling down this sort of left side of the map and uh, the gateway is just here but we are just almost at this Pacific P512 so I was thinking we might just go and check that out there is also another truck here that we can go and rescue for the farmer I'm um, not really going to bother with that today but we might come back and do that in a, another episode but I believe this truck here we can actually go and sort of collect and use ourselves uh, so let's go and check that out I don't know if this is a new truck actually because I've not heard of this truck in this game yet so possibly it is a new truck let me know in the comments if you know um, but let's go ahead and just pull this thing over to the path we'll at least just sort of rescue it because it is stuck in a bit of a swamp at the moment it looks like it might have some off-roady kind of tires on it it looks like a really cool truck I have to say that um, does it have any fuel in it appears so um, let me go in low range we'll throw diff locks on and I think that truck is really stuck in there because our uh, big boy here is actually kind of struggling to uh, pull it but um, I'm just gonna pull it a little bit further over here out of the way so we kind of have a reserve truck if we need it um, I don't know how good that thing is going to be, sort of off-road. It looks like it has some kind of maybe all-terrain all tyres on it. So, yeah, we've got a truck near if we need to rescue us, but I think, honestly, we're going to be okay. So, let's head on to the gateway now. And here we go, into Grainwoods River, the brand new Wisconsin map. That is where we are today. And there we go. So we did briefly travel here. Um, we literally travelled here, had a look at the map and went straight back to the other map in my live stream. But you can see here, we have kind of got a bit of work to do. I believe this is where we travelled to. And this is where we travelled to today. So the first watchtower is just right here. And then I think we're going to go ahead and get this watchtower. I think there's quite a few watchtowers, so there's five in total. I think we'll get this one, go here, across here, here, and then finally get this one. It doesn't look like a massive map, um, but I'm sure there's a lot of hidden surprises for us to go and check out. Alright, so the watchtower is just over to the left. I don't know where this road goes, but I'm keen to take this truck off-road is an off-road truck and the watch I was kind of over here in these trees anyway so I do like that there are some roads in SnowRunner it is quite nice but I much prefer driving off-road obviously it's an off-road game so it's more enjoyable to go off-road and this thing just handles off-roading just so well it's just awesome truck Alright, we've got a nice little hill climb just before the watchtower, there it is. Let's see how we cope with this, I don't think it's going to have any issues with that. We've got a 14 litre engine in this. I'm not actually sure what engine is in it, I'm guessing probably like a Cummins diesel. Because it is a uh, US military truck, so I'm guessing it will probably be a Cummins, something like that anyway. But there we go, that is the first watchtower open. Let's go ahead and launch that observation, see what we can see. Okay, so there's a little bit of a factory, possibly a garage right near us. Um, it is a factory, okay. And then we've got an international pay star that we can go and discover over here. That's nice, okay. Right, so here is our route that I've kind of planned out. Um, we could go back to the main road but it is all quite difficult terrain anyway so we're going to go down here we're going to go across this rickety bridge that I'm not too sure about in this truck 
and then we're just going to sort of follow it until it joins onto this path here and then we're going to head across that bridge and to the waypoint right here is the rickety bridge that we're going to have to go across um, there isn't really any other crossing points that are much nicer so yeah this is going to be a little bit interesting let me just zoom out of it so i can actually see what we're doing there now the bridges can't collapse is what i've discovered but you can still fall off them so you can see that the tires on this truck are pretty wide so I'm just going to go nice and slowly. There we go. We are mostly across. There we go. It's kind of like one of those top gear episodes when they have to cross one of those really high bridges or something. I think the best thing to do is just carry on this route that we are on. It seems to sort of lead that direction. And then if we get a little bit off course in a bit, then we might have to just sort of switch it up. I say we're going to follow the path. It does appear to just lead into some trees. path just kind of ends here. Um, can we pick up the path anywhere? I mean, we can just crush these trees down. This thing weighs like a boat. So, yeah, we might have to do a little bit of tree exploring now. Um, some of these big trees I can't push down, the little ones I can. This is getting a little bit interesting. This is some proper off-roading here, we're not even following a path. That appears to be the path there. There we go, let's just get back on there. That was a little bit interesting, <laughs> a little detour off the path there. I mean, to be fair, it did just lead me into a bunch of trees, so there wasn't much I could do. Okay, truck, let's see what you can do. You've got those big 61-inch tyres on there. It's just going to climb over it. Yeah, not even an issue there. We've got a few trees to smash down, but nothing really to struggle with. Bit of a hill climb. It's just going to walk right up here. <laughs> yeah, not even an issue climbing that did it in second gear in fact and there we go our next watchtower uncloaked let's go and launch the observation beautiful looking map these wisconsin maps i do really like these and now we can see actually the whole sort of right hand side of the map so we've uncloaked quite a lot now the question is can we cross over to this side because you can see this kind of river runs all the way around here and all the bridges so there is a bridge here that is out so we can't cross there there is the little bridge there that we came across earlier i have just noticed there is a bridge here that i didn't see earlier it looks like quite a big gap but i found on snowrunner the map size is a little bit disproportional so you think that's a massive river and when you get to it it's really not that wide so i think since we're all the way down here and we've not got much fuel left so i don't want to travel all the way back up here i think we're going to see if we can cross this river i want to see what this truck can actually do because i feel like it could cross that Right, we're down at the beach. I've travelled all the way down to that river crossing and as you can see, just like I said, it looks like a massive river crossing on the map. In fact, let me just go ahead and open the map again. You see, it looks like a massive river. I mean, this part is definitely too wide to cross. But this part here is just over a truck's length wide, so... I don't think we're going to have too much of an issue. Just in case, I am going to stick it in low range. Let me just put handbrake on. And we're going to put diff lock on just as a precaution. But I don't think we're going to have an issue going through here. Yeah, not really necessary. I think we'll just go ahead and stick it back in automatic. But we do need to get across to the other side now. So let me just find where the narrowest point is. I think it's going to be over this side possibly looks a bit narrower here it is a little bit wider than the crossing we've just done i mean that bit there looks definitely shallow enough to get any sort of truck through there's a bit of a crossing here 
There's this deep part right here. I'm going to go straight into the deep part. It's really not that deep. It doesn't even come above our tyres. So, there we go. We've crossed that river. There was no need to go all the way back to the bridge. If you are exploring this map for the first time, you can cross there, even in a very basic truck. And now we've got a lovely beach to go and explore. We need to go and see if we can make our way to the next watchtower now. Right, this is a real chance to see how torquey this engine actually is. Um, we're going up this hill here. And it's not the steepest hill that we've climbed, but it is quite a long gradient. And I'm curious to see how well this thing does with this. If it actually has the power to get up here. I'm going up in high range uh, first gear at the moment. We have got low range gears and we've got diff lock. Which I think we are going to need to use. So let me just see how much further we can actually get. I want to see if we can do this whole thing in high range. Because if we can get up this hill in high range, then I don't think it's going to struggle with much else. did struggle a little bit, but I mean, it has done it. That is quite a long gradient up there. For something this heavy, you have to remember this truck is quite heavy. I think that's quite an impressive achievement getting up there. Let's see if we can climb out of here. Yeah, not even an issue. We've got another rickety bridge over there that we're probably going to have to go over. We'll just crush this little tree down. And there we go. Absolutely beautiful. Wasn't the most professional way to get up there, but it was definitely the most fun. So there we go. Let's go ahead and launch the observation. We can't really see much else than trees. There is some sort of wood station there that we drove past a minute ago. It is a sawmill, in fact. And we still haven't uncloaked a fuel station, which is kind of worrying to me. Um, I think we've got enough fuel to discover the rest, but yeah, it's going to be very, very tight. We've got an upgrade right here that we can go and get. Not going to bother with that right now. We're just going to see if we can uncloak all these. We've got two left. And then, yeah. I don't know if there's a garage on this map. Probably not. But then... Yeah, we'll see how far we can go in this truck. So usually about this kind of time in a video, I would uh, give my opinion on the truck and give you a little review of it, what I think of the truck. And this is actually a modded truck, in case you hadn't already realised that. Now, I'm not sure who this mod is made by, um, but I have to say it is probably my favourite truck in SnowRunner now, um, that includes the actual sort of base game trucks and the new trucks that have come out, you know, as far as DLC trucks have gone. This thing is my new favourite truck. It is absolutely awesome. It has so much torque, which is just absolutely perfect for, you know, climbing up some of these steep slopes and stuff. And it just has you know so much capability it's unreal the customization for this thing is brilliant i love the look of the truck it's absolutely fabulous it's not too big it's not too wide it's just right for me it's perfect for exploring it doesn't make it too easy for you but it also you know doesn't give you too much of a challenge so if you're someone who likes to just enjoy the game for what it's worth you like a little bit of a challenge but nothing too serious then this is a perfect mod for you you know it has good fuel capacity although i did nearly have a bit of a scare earlier but it does hold 300 liters in the in the back there in the bed if you put the frame add on on so yeah it's a very very capable truck it's very good looking it's just all round a brilliant truck. I don't know whether this thing can tow trailers. Do I really care? No, I don't really. This thing is more for exploring and sort of, you know, uncloaking watchtowers. What I might do with this truck in the future is actually take it to Amandra, which, for those of you who play SnowRunner or know anything about SnowRunner, will tell you that this is the hardest map. Amandra is the hardest map on this game. 
and it is also in the snow so i'd be curious to see how it fares there if it fares well there then it gets my seal of approval we've got one um sorry we've got two watchtowers left to go and explore we're right by this one here so i think i'm going to take this road to the left round here over the railway track and then down to there and then we've got one more just by the badger lake gateway so it would appear i may have lost the path a little bit here um the next watchtower is just right here there is actually a path um, behind these trees and the watchtower is just right on the path. I don't really know where the path went. It kind of led into this forest and I've just been making my way through here. So that is another plus point, I guess, about the big bob. It goes through little tree wooded areas quite well. You know, that kind of proves that it's not too big, but it does have enough grunt to get through some of these places because it's not the easiest you know sort of terrain to navigate because you've got all these trees in the way you need to have a lot of power to sort of pull the front end and the back end round and I mean you can see it's got through there perfectly well there was a perfectly nice path right next to the woods I don't know where I went wrong but there we go we're out of the wooded area and we're right by the next watchtower and there we go, that is the next watchtower. Let's launch the observation. Absolutely beautiful. We can see the woods that we've just come through. And we've got one more watchtower to go and discover. It looks like a fairly nice drive over there, actually. Um, if we can pick up this road here, we can actually just follow the road round. The bridge is even built for us, which is always nice. And it's just right there. So. I think we've proved that this thing is more than capable off-road. I'm ready for a bit of a relaxing drive to the finish line. So we're going to head down here across the railway track. Hopefully we can cross there. Get back onto this road and discover the last watchtower. So we're just coming over to the actual main road here. And um, I was ready to just go to the next watchtower. But I think we may have actually just discovered the garage here I don't think well I didn't do this on purpose it just happened to be here I don't know if this is the garage assume it is yeah okay so there is a carriage on this map as it turns out I didn't mean to do that at all I didn't see the mar uh, the uh, marriage the garage on this map I didn't know whether there was one or not but I just happened to come out of here and I noticed what seemed to be kind of like a garage you know like the buildings all look kind of the same the garages all look kind of the same and I thought it's probably just a warehouse or something but it is in fact the garage so uninvertently we have discovered the garage so there is one on this map which is great we've got one more watchtower to do which is a nice little tarmac drive to get there so let's go and get it and here we go it really was a nice cruise to the finish line we've been mostly tarmac we've got this little dirt path that leads off the tarmac perfectly to our next watchtower let's go ahead and launch the observation and what a beautiful view we have from up here it's absolutely amazing and what an amazing truck we have explored this map in i have to say I don't know whether it's because we're in an amazing truck or just because of the map. It is quite an easy map to go and explore. So if you're new to the game and you've bought the DLC maps, then Greenwood's River, I'd say it's actually easier than the Black Badger Lake map, which is also fairly easy to go and explore. But this map is really nice. It will teach you a lot of the things you need to know about this game. There's a lot of hill climbs there's some river crossings you know it'll teach you how to create a path through sort of terrain so if you're looking for a map to teach you how to play snow runner the greenwoods river is absolutely fabulous i've really enjoyed exploring this map actually and i've really enjoyed driving the big bob it's absolutely fabulous it is by far my favorite truck in this game now um yeah that's going to do it for this video if you are new to the channel and you want to see more snow runner episodes like this 
then make sure you smash the like button and subscribe and if you want to leave us a comment let us know who's watching that would be awesome but well, that's going to do it for today's video thanks all so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one